Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. This is Dr. Nas and today I'll be discussing about typhoid fever. It is also known as enteric fever because it involves enteric system. It is caused by a Salmonella typhi and its incubation period is 10 to 14 days. The primary source of infection is feces and urine of infected people and the secondary source is contaminated food and water. So the mode of transmission is fecal and oral route. So in the first week after infection, the patient may present with fever which is going to be high grade that is 40 to 41 degrees Celsius and it rise in a step ladder fashion for 4 to 5 days. Other symptoms may include malaise, headache, drowsiness and pain in the limbs. Constipation may also occur due to swelling of lymphoid tissue around the ileocecal junction. Relative bradycardia may also be present which is due to the fever. Uh, in this the pulse is slow than it would be expected from the height of temperature. Normally what happens there is 10 degree rise in pulse with every 1 degree Celsius rise in temperature. But here it is not that case. Second week is characterized by the presence of rose spots rash which is a maculopapular rash and it is rose colored and it present on upper abdomen and back and it fades on pressure that is it's a blanching rash. Cuff and epistaxis may be present. Splenomegaly occurs on the 7th and 10th day after infection. Constipation is then succeeded by diarrhea which is mostly pea soup that is yellow colored diarrhea and abdominal distension with tenderness also occurs. In third week complications starts bowel perforation, hemorrhage due to ulcerated pears patches, cholecystitis, myocarditis, nephritis, meningitis, pneumonia. The most common cause of osteomyelitis in patients with sickle cell disease is salmonella type infection. 5% of individuals may go into chronic carrier state and it is due to gallbladder colonization. And in these individuals, the bacteria passes more in a stool than urine. Blood culture is the gold standard test and the most accurate test for the diagnosis of typhoid fever. Other is a stool culture which can be performed during second and third week of infection. Vidal test is an old test. It is not accurate so it is not performed these days. CBC that is complete blood count may show leukopenia and relative lymphocytosis. So fluoroquinolones is the drug of choice for the treatment of typhoid fever. Ciprofloxacin. 500 mg is given twice daily for 14 days but fever may persist for up to 5 days after the start of therapy. In resistant cases azithromycin or cephalosporins can be given. Chronic carriers can take ciprofloxacin for 4 weeks along with cholecystectomy if needed. I hope you learned something from this video. Please like my video and subscribe to my YouTube channel so that I get motivation to make further such videos. Thank you so much for watching.